Wow, and here we are. She's got a big show here in Denver. She's hydrating properly like she should. Please welcome in the studio Madison Beer, everybody. Wow, studio audience up in here at 95.7 The Party. How are you this afternoon? I'm great. How are you? Trying I hung out. I, I woke up at 3 in the morning, did a whole morning show, and hung out, and uh, I could not wait to meet you today. I'm happy that you're here. Really? Thank welcome. you. Welcome. That's Let's nice. talk about the single real quick. Yes. This is great. This is the ultimate, like, the musical version of a hand approaching a face going, dude, no. Yes, literally. This is great. How many times, I, you you can hear in a song, even though you were in a studio and you sang this 90 times to get it perfect, you can tell that Home With You takes on a personal experience of, come on, man, I'm just yeah. here to hang with my friends, leave me the F alone. Yeah, it's happened, for sure. <laughs> at first, I'm sure, I'm sure, are you nice at first, like, nah, dude, or are you just now nah, zero Fs, no, you're just I like. Mean, I mean, listen, I'm always like one to give people a chance and whatever, but I hate pushy people, whether it's a guy or a girl, like anyone that's pushy in any sort of way, I'm just like. Okay, I'm not gonna even put up with you for three seconds. Mm-hmm. So, if I'm just like, it's what annoys me is if I'm having a conversation and a guy is just being really irritating. I'm just like, do you not see that I'm talking to somebody? Mm-hmm. And I'll say that, and I'll just be straight up with them. I'm kind of not the nicest when it comes to that. Stuff. Madison, you're the person I want to take with me to the mall to shoo away the kiosk people trying to sell me yes. the minerals. Oh my god, they're like, you try perfume. I'm like, no. I can tell that you must be a beast I'm at Roosevelt Field, huh? I can tell. That you, uh-huh. Yeah, oh I know god, where you're from. Uh huh. Yeah. Field. I'm like banned from Roosevelt Field at this point. <laughs> Literally, they they have like a picture of me hanging in the mall because I've started like many riots. There. Let me tell our Colorado friends, it's the mall near where she lives. We're in Long, in Long Island. Island. Yeah, where it's I'm like from. it's like her park meadows. Is that, yeah, no, yeah. And I just, I, did you any of you guys like? I'm sure you guys are Justin Bieber fans. Some of you, you saw Never Say Never. You know the mall that he gets like attacked. That's Roosevelt Field, and that's where I'm from. And I was at the mall when he mm-hmm. did that. Just fun fact. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun announcing. I was there. I was on the radio in New York City during that time. It was fun announcing to the world that the mall was shut down because yes, of people. No, that was a then, fun day. And then I tweeted like when after he had discovered me and stuff. Like I tweeted that um, I was going to the mall and to meet mm-hmm. a few people, and thousands of people showed up, and they literally have my photo hanging. They're like, "We will arrest you." How so, crazy is that? It's crazy. I mean, Let's. Can we talk about the discovery? Or are you tired of talking about it? I mean, I'm not. T- I'm, yeah, sure. I mean, you were discovered by Justin Bieber. This is pretty huge. Yeah. Like, how do you find this out? How all of a sudden, who's the first person to tell you? You will not believe who is like talking about you. Yeah, my friend Nicole. Actually, I was like the biggest believer, and I'm not even just saying that. I was genuinely obsessed with the kid. Like obsessed. I wore purple on his birthday. <laughs> I was. I was. Yeah, big believer, big time. And obviously, I followed him. And if you find my old Twitter that is hopefully deactivated right now. All my tweets were just follow me at Justin Bieber. You like, just, I love you. So blah, you just blah. begged him. Yes. But then I deleted my Twitter, like didn't tweet at him for a while. And then I kind of was like, okay, obviously he's never going to know who I am. And I made the YouTube video and I was in like a candy store and my friend Nicole called me and she was like, dude, Justin Bieber just tweeted a link to your video. And I was like, that's really funny. Like, obviously not true and then all of a sudden my Instagram started getting a bunch of notifications and I obviously was like what is going on I checked and he did and it was crazy and I freaked out and then he tweeted two more links to two more videos that night and I had Good Morning America knocking at my door at like 11 p.m. like we want an interview and my mom was like go away like your mom's shooing away Good Morning America yes freaking out like no neither none of us knew what was going on I just remember being in my room like jumping up and down screaming like freaking out it was crazy I mean it was like I was 13 years old obsessed with him Madison I have the most important question you're going to answer all week did you buy the candy Oh, that was in the candy, candy store. store. Yeah, I think I left the candy yeah, store. Yeah, you left it right by the barrel, didn't you? Yeah, literally. Mm-hmm. I was like, I'm out. This is crazy. <laughs> <She left. laughs> You'd leave too. You wouldn't buy the candy. You'd be freaking oh, yeah, out. Was, I, I wanted to tell everyone in the store, just be like, guys. Uh-huh. And everyone would be like, what is this psycho girl talking about? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know. And the rest is history. Yeah. So, and did you ever think that Scooter would be your guy too? No, no. Oh my God. It was. It's actually like a really funny story. When I first met Scooter, uh, my lock screen was Justin and he saw that and he was just like, is Justin, your lock screen? And I was like, no. And I kind of <laughs> tried to hide it. And I was like super embarrassed. And then he was like, do you want to hear his new song that's coming out? And he played me Boyfriend. And I was like, oh my God, this is so good. This is so cool. And I just was so pumped about it and told all my friends, even though Scooter was like, don't tell anyone about this. I literally was t- telling everyone at school. I was like, guys, he has this new song, Boyfriend. No one believed me. And then it came out and I was like, see? Are you one of those artists that when you perform, no matter what kind of mood you're in, you're instantly in the best mood ever because you're in, you're like vibing with your fans and you're feeling it? Or are you sometimes, do you bring some of the angst you've had during your day to the stage and does that come out through your music? Yeah, I mean. Be honest. Yeah, no, I'm, yeah. I mean, I think that obviously I'm in a great mood when I'm, I see my fans and I meet them and I'm performing in front of them, but if I have a really bad day or I'm in a really bad mood or something, I kind of try to control that and do it in a way of like, 
being more like badass on mm-hmm. stage rather than like looking like I'm miserable because I'm never miserable when I'm performing but it's definitely like something that I have to switch if I'm upset about something and just like channel it in the best way possible like one of my songs say it to my face I get to kind of like scream on so that's the one that I take out all my that seems very therapeutic yeah and yeah. Then there's like lines in home with you too that I get uh-huh pretty- yeah I see you, you probably have these mental images of these people from the past. And you're like, yeah, oh, yeah. you, yeah, you, and you. Just oh, wait, there's you. And then there's you. Yeah. What can't you do before you go on stage? Because you know it'll kind of, like, I would probably not want to check my email. I wouldn't want to read I any don't t- random really texts. I don't go on social media at yeah. all. I stay off social media for, like, the whole show day, pretty much. Got it. Um, and then, yeah, and I also just, what I do is I try to just watch things that I like. I'll literally put my, like, computer up and watch YouTube videos or watch, like, Rick and Morty and... Nice. Before my show, like two days ago, all I did was watch interviews of Justin Roiland, who's a co-creator of Rick and Morty, and I just watched his interviews and like how his mind works. I just wanted to like figure out how someone comes up with the show, and I was literally watching it. And then they were like, "Okay, it's time to go on stage," and I just like shut the laptop, and go out, and that's just what I do before I go on stage. Just kind of just chill. What if this interview right now is inspiration for somebody else, like another artist down the road is watching this interview in right, preparation like, for their show? Yeah, that, that's and crazy. you've come full circle. How trippy Matt, would that who be? Who do we think is like watching Madison Beer interviews oh, before God. their show? Um, I think Adam Levine right now. Is he doing uh, before, that? Yeah, he's right now. Hey, he's Adam. watching this right now. Love you. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> let's how about a collab right Adam, now? Wait, Adam Levine went to my brother's summer camp. Fun fact. Uh, I'm not surprised. It's he a did. small world. He went to my brother's. It's summer a really camp. small not world. At the same time, I was obviously. waiting for the bar mitzvah connection. Actually, yeah, I was like, like yeah, he was there. Could have been a thing it was Titanic themed. I don't even remember what the camp is called. It's something. Something. One of those camps. We'll think of it. We'll camp. Th- camp. Something. Camp. Something. Yeah. Shalom. My brother went there. Yeah. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Absolutely. Your Insta game is strong and it seems like you can put almost anything up in the world. It's like, oh my God, like, which has got to be a great feeling. Whereas I've got an eight month old child. I've got a boy named Xander. Everyone loves him, but that's then so, I, is it with an X or yeah, with Z? an X? Oh my God. That's so crazy. I was just talking about baby names with my friend and I was like Xander and um, Zane and mm-hmm. Jagger are like my three favorite boy names. Well, I have so one of the crazy. three. That was, yeah, That's I thought crazy. of that name I for him. That name. Yeah, and thank you very much. I'll, I'll be sure to play this for him. Be like, oh my God, you know her? No, I'll be like, no, <laughs> not at all. She came Wait, what once. were you saying? You, you so photos of him? I'll post a picture and I'll get like, a, look, gee, 100 likes, which is for my in my world amazing. Your world, it's like, you know, finding it's all two about cents. the ratios. Yes, it is. My ratio is small. And that, <laughs> but then, like, I'll do something I think is cool. Two likes. I'm tired of exploiting my child. How can I raise my Insta game? <laughs> Help me. Oh you have te- what, 10.6? Seven? Million, you have a lot. Okay, you like no, seven. Like I have more. Cool. No, I really. It, I honestly like. This is gonna sound so like stupid, but I really don't care about it. Like, I wait, kind you of what? Just, Hold on, I'm totally exploiting I you don't on my Insta. Care about Instagram. That's I do. Fact. Click like. <laughs> yeah, like this post, guys. Love you. It's Madison Beer. Click like. I have no one. I'm gonna. I'm gonna like this and comment, guys. Like this post if you love me. Oh my god, I'm tired of exploiting my child. Thank you. <laughs> See, I totally just used you, it's which fine. is wonderful. I'm, I'm, is it okay? I'm, as long as you openly admit to S- using me. Yep, yeah, someone's gonna come out. You need to delete that immediately. She's not happy. But no, I genuinely. <laughs> right, literally, they're gonna. She's not gonna happy, JJ. Like a- They'll just grab my phone. Desist. It'll be like North Korea. They'll just rip my phone out no, of my hands. Yeah, literally. No, but I, <laughs> I um. Yeah, I just kind of like have grown to not really care about social media because I mean, I care about it in the aspect of like I love my fans and I try to focus on like the love mm-hmm. and that's what I like people always ask, "Oh, how do you like put up with the hate and stuff?" It's like I have so much love that for me to sit and focus on the few people that don't like me is just foolish in my opinion and I think like of course I'm human and of course at times if I'm in a bad mood or if whatever, I obviously read that stuff and it gets to me. But I just, like I said, I have so much love around me that like I might as well focus on that and not be harping on the bad. I think you need to feel bad for these strangers who leave negative comments. Course, like yeah, you I really do. took time out of your day to nitpick <laughs> my, either my say, shoes or something or my fashion yeah, like, or my thinking? makeup or I something. I always just think though, like don't you guys have friends that see that on their following? Like wouldn't you text your friend being like, why are you commenting on Kylie Jenner's post that she's ugly? That's crazy. You know what I mean? If I saw somebody's if I yeah. saw somebody that I follow, like one of my friends doing that, I would be like, Are you okay? Are you going through I don't something? think they have friends, which is sad. I think that there's But they have lonely, like I've clicked on accounts maybe. that they have like followers and I'm like what? Who are these people not telling you that you're a horrible person for I don't doing get this? It. I just don't get Where's it. Where's your I, social circle? Genuinely though, I don't think it makes them a horrible person. I think what it is, and this is like me going like deep down like my rabbit hole of a brain, I genuinely think it's like these people don't they're so disattached from like real like reality because mm-hmm. they're on Instagram so much and they think that that's like 
this is reality, whereas it's obviously not, that they don't think that their words have any real impact because it's so fabricated and fake and it's like so easy to say something like that. But none of these people would say that to my face. They wouldn't no. say that in person and uh -uh. everyone knows that. But that's what I'm saying. It's kind of like their remorse and their empathy is completely gone because they kind of have like this idea in their head that it's all just fake and it's like, well, it doesn't really matter what they say. Anyway. No, you're a real yeah. person. You have real emotions. Yeah, it's not and it's fake. so yeah. crazy. And I try to always tell my fans that like, I, if you're a fan of mine and you're doing that, like I don't. Yeah, you don't want claim to. you. No. Boot them from the club. Yeah, totally. no, I don't. I don't. I'm not. No. How long are you in Colorado for before you whisk off to your next destination? Uh, tonight I leave. Oh, you're literally. It, you're like, and you're spending all your time yeah. here inside. Yes. No, but I. Well, I, welcome. This is my first time here, so we're happy to have you here. I'm What's the one thing you here. might do before the show or at some point? You How have... far is Aspen from here? That's, oh, you can't. No, that's... it's a few hours. <laughs> yeah, you can't. It's it's gonna take you a while. I'm I so want to see the Red Rocks. Oh, that's yeah, really Red Rocks. Well, you could literally get out there. That's Assuming like there's not a show, away, right? it's beautiful. Oh, really? Are you seeing a show? That's sick. Oh my god, I love Post. Didn't it's... he just drop an album? Sick. I you haven't know? listened to it yet. I'm a fake fan, but I really like him. I think You're not a fake fan. You're just busy. You never Everyone say. Always, I'm like, yeah, I always feel bad. I don't listen to a lot of like, I don't know. I'm the kind of person that when I have like my playlist of my music that I love, I only listen to that. I don't over really listen and to over my, any and new over. stuff. I'm gonna give you a bad tip. Being a musician, Madison, you're a musician. I'm a parent. We can use the same excuse. I'm sorry, life just got in the way. It did. See, you just remember that life got that in is, the way. That is. A, that would have been a good quote for our categories game. Last no, that's night. your next single. Life, life got, got in the way. way. <laughs> we were, do you play categories? Uh, uh I haven't played in a long time ago. We played last night on the bus, and the letter was L, and one of the questions was a qu famous quote, and I could have used that. What else I are we said, playing on the bus? My was... answer was, um, life moves pretty fast. See? If you don't stop and look around once in a Ferris while. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. That's wow. My, that was my quote. A movie that is so much older than your existence on this planet. And then my friend did Live in La Vida Loca, and she got three points for that. A Ricky Martin song, which came out the year you that's, were born. That's a triple. Yeah, see? Triple point. It's things I know. Play categories. You should get it. It's really fun. It's are you, what, are you, what else are you playing on the bus? Connect Four? What else is going on? Categories has been it. It's kind of caused like a little few tiffs on the bus, because mm -hmm. I'm very competitive, mm -hmm. and so is everyone on the bus. And we, my, um, my piano player, who's amazing, is very talkative. He's like a very loud, like animated mm -hmm. person. And during games, you have to really concentrate. That's not the kind of vibe you want. Mm -hmm. And I'm always just like, Nolan, shh. I'm like, I'm trying to figure out what an L for vegetable is. Like, can you think of that? And I just like spent an hour thinking of it and it was just really hard. But he distracted me. I would anyway. fail. First thing I thought of was lemon, but it's not a vet. Boom. Oh, a leek. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's used in, primarily in soup, is it not? It is. Yes. <laughs> there was like a vine about leeks, I'm pretty sure, too. I don't know. I could be wrong. Old school vine. I see a guitar. I assume that we're going to hear a little something, something. If you would like. What? Yeah. Are you okay with that? Should we get you some water? Should we get you, uh, you're good to go. You're set. I've got her. What are we going to hear today? Um, Home with you, I guess. All right. Cool. You guys ready to hear some music? Is that what we're. Yeah. Doing? Sure. Quiet studio. Are you ready to hear some music? Yeah. All right, good. They're live, conscious. Okay. Or should we do dead first? Or are we doing both? Wow. Are we doing two? That's what we usually do. All right. Wait, Let's can we do Tyler Durden? Actually, you can do it. You, See, you like, are a guest. Can we do Heartless? You can do whatever Wait, you would no, like, Madison. Adrenaline. Okay, yeah. Let's do um, Tyler Durden first. Because that's my right. that's my one. Have you heard it? No. Okay, well, Madison. My, it's, have you seen the movie Fight Club? A long time ago, yes. This is about, it's a mind F. This is about Tyler Durden, who's okay. the main character. Let's hear all about it. And